Can you see that back there? <laughs> no. All right, we're at Disney Springs, and we're going to try the House of Blues for the first time. That makes it. Alex picked it out for his Alex's birthday. birthday. Alex's 20th birthday today, so we told him this trip is for you, and you pick out where you want to go for your birthday, yes. so this is what he picked out. And then after dinner, we got a show at Cirque du Soleil, the Drawn to Life Disney show, so yep. we're going to review both when we're done, but now we're going to go eat. They have some cool House of Blues merch here. Sugar Skull shirt and a hat with the Sacred Heart in blue. That's awesome. And then, of course, the Blues Brothers merch over here. A lot of cool stuff. It smells good in here, too. It smells really good. I wonder what it's like. I guess it's like incense. Some uh, rock and roll artwork. And a whole wall of shirts to choose from. These are really neat designs. Oh, look, a cowboy hat. So you have a gift shop here, and then the restaurant's actually down around to the left of the gift shop. And when we go to Cirque du Soleil, that's right there. There's actually a bar, too, out here. So there's sit-down dining, and then there's an outdoor bar area over there going to church. I think the restaurant might be somewhere else. That's, I think this, this is, is where a the venue. concert is. That's why the box office is right there. We're still confused. So it's out here. So this is the venue for music. It says club over it. That would make sense. Then there's an outdoor bar with outdoor seating, and this is all part of the... Is this? Did it come uh, like that? The voodoo shrimp. Cornbread voodoo shrimp. And the missing shrimp. Yeah, it looks like the chef got Somebody hungry. Somebody must have eaten some already. They got <laughs> so hungry. It's voodoo shrimp? Yeah. yeah. So basically just like extra spicy shrimp. But it doesn't have it's a... It's not spicy. She said the spice was in the sauce and is they did like taste a little bit. occasion like flavor? The spice is on the shrimp. The sauce is very sweet. Oh, seasoning. Oh, sweet? I think it's very sweet. Yeah, it is a sweeter it's sauce. Very sweet. And then this is the gumbo, which is your typical gumbo with rice and sausage. Is there chicken in this? It's a little warm. Warm, like spicy? Spicy. Jambalaya. Oh, it's a scallion. It's a scallion. And it has chicken. I didn't get the shrimp for $7 more because it was going to be $7 for four shrimp, and I figured. This could There's be way more. Food. There's way more than I can eat. So, jambalaya. And Alex. The New York strip. Same thing I got. With New the York strip, garlic, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, on skillet. The side of, side. Look at that. Skillet. That's, 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 that's huge. Cajun chicken pasta. Uh, it's all mixed together. I yeah. was expecting like chicken on top. No. It's all mixed. The onions, peppers. Huh. Looks good. And then that's the same as Alex's. Mmm, steak. Birthday too. Is it? I'll be back. That's why there's two candles. Yeah, that's why there's two candles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why she gave y'all spoons. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be gone in two bucks. Hey, you want to try some? No, thank you. My jambalaya. It was blessed and amazing. And you know what? You didn't get your thaw. Like, you had like a whole piece of sausage like cut up 
plush chicken. It was a huge portion, and then they gave you the other whole half of that sausage that they grilled. I mean, I could only eat a couple bites, but it was <laughs> delicious. Yeah, Alex mixed the rest of yours with his mac and cheese. Which, that by was, the way, yeah, don't get the mac and cheese. Don't get the mac and cheese because I figured out what they did. So it's definitely Kraft because Kraft has that aftertaste, and it looks identical to Kraft. Powdered so cheese. It's Kraft mac and cheese or some form of that kid type mac and cheese whatever bulk they get but it's that and then they put it in a skillet with breadcrumbs because it is not like your southern mac and cheese if that's what you're thinking you're getting a skillet of mac and cheese that is you will be highly disappointed your sequins are like blinding me the steak was really good we got the same thing the steak they had like a house rub on it dry rub and then uh, grilled and it was really good very tasty and Dad, do you like the pasta? Yeah, chicken creole pasta was very good, tasty. The flavor was very good. They could have had it a little more sauce to it. Yeah. Because it was a little dry on the top, and you had to try to scoop it up from the bottom to get more Did sauce. anybody else even taste that? Was it good? It was delicious. Yeah. Like, was, that's what I said. Good. Like, I would have ordered that. It's just pasta fills me up so bad. Yeah, yeah like, it was very good. That was delicious, but that jambalaya, I am sad she had to take away my plate and throw it in the trash because we could not take it with you us. You never know, maybe she ate it. It. I mean, she got like three quarters of the meal and just don't think that's going in the trash because it was fantastic. I would, I, I would get it again, hands down. And pro it. tip, if you eat here, save your receipt and then go to the gift shop because yes. we got a discount. What was it, like five or six Temper bucks? Yeah, like I don't so know what the percentage was. But. Like, yeah, Alex got his hat there, and uh, it was like five or six bucks off, whatever well, the percentage is. I guess it is. would have been 20% I don't because know. of what his price of the hat I didn't was. do the math. I just know it saved like five or six bucks. Now we're going to go check out right across there. And Alex picked the restaurant and didn't even realize it was right here. Convenience to go see the Cirque du Soleil show. So now we're going to go see the Cirque du Soleil, and then we'll give a review of that show after. Cirque. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. I mean, it's probably a French way. That's... Why don't we just say it's the circus? Because it's not a circus. What does Cirque, Cirque du Soleil mean? Don't know. Neither do I. I just can Maybe. never say it. Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. So you say Cirque. it. <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. Cirque. Because then I want to say Circus Delay. Drawn to life. Yeah. So. We've been back for quite a while. So. Oh my gosh, so long. It's been a month. 
I liked the attention to detail. There was things going on in the background behind the main scene that, you know, yeah. you there was always something to look even if your eyes came off like the, the main show, yeah. show there was supporting characters like doing something funny or like the little dude dragging around like a trash can and he would stop to breathe acting like it was heavy yeah. but it wasn't even a real person it was just a puppet yeah and that was happening like behind the main show so should i say like i feel like i'm gonna be look dumb if i say something what like try to say Cirque du Soleil <laughs> so like the drawn to life thing it wasn't until like the very end possibly after that was like uh what like they were drawing the whole time <gasps> oh so she like those characters in her head she was drawing yeah. to life and that's why it's called drawn to life yes or how drawing or art in general brings someone to life like that's their passion that's what they so do so i felt like i really liked it and i love like the acrobats i love like all i don't know if you call them stunts that this little people like they just come around and flip around and do different things and bounce and balance and acrobats twirl well maybe because i was lost like 99 percent of it and i'm thinking this is weird um <laughs> <laughs> i just it's a very like artsy fartsy type of thing like i guess you have to have that that's like cirque mind. du soleil that's not this show in particular that's cirque du soleil style oh it's artistic music it's a stage i was show. entertained by all like the acrobats and stuff but then like the artsy side like of like the actual storyline i was like <laughs> There was one point during it, like halfway through, I was like, I don't know what the heck is going on here. Why is there a giant ball of paper running around? That's the <laughs> bad guy. That was the villain. The whole yeah. show is basically going on inside the head of the main character. I did not pick up on that one. So it's her at apprehension. All. It's like you saying in one of the other videos, like your hesitation or your own fear got in your way from riding roller coasters. I know. So this whole show was about her conquering her own fears. Yeah, I think you did tell me that afterwards that it was being in her head and like, oh, yeah. it kind of all comes together. The villain was, that. you know, the antagonist or like the, it was her own hesitation from yeah. solving the story that she was trying to create art artistically. So it was a crumpled up ball of paper because she would like do some art. And then just crumple it up and throw it away. So the villain was portrayed by a crumpled up ball of paper. The only thing that I didn't catch is like what happened to her dad. So her dad was an artist and she was following in his footsteps. And that was like their thing. Did that he like die? Bind them? I don't know. Like I, think I he thought died. It, I thought in the beginning like he was just away and she missed him. I but then as the story unfolded, I'm like, oh, I don't think he's coming back. But I think there was he's dead. one musical piece where the mom and the dad you know yeah. it was the mom imagining the dad and missing him and like they had a whole yeah dance that's routine why together. like she was feeling that connection because her dad was dead and they used to do that together like that yes. was her connection to her dad yeah he's dead yeah. he's dead that's a typical disney story parents die <laughs> i feel like it's usually the mom that dies yeah that was the difference was i'm like oh it's finally the dad yeah Flipping A, yeah. I was like, all right, knock them off once. We're always knocked off. Mom, dead. <laughs> Gone. Before the even story even starts. Cut them at the knees. Slice and their now throat. it's the, the dad before the story even starts. Yep. How's it feel? It didn't affect me at all. <laughs> oh, and from our vantage point, I wanted to say, too, like, like there's a little bit of footage of the pre-show before we're talking about Oh, here. yeah, yeah. The, that vantage point or you know where we were sitting they were $85 tickets so like you don't need to spend you know you had a view of everything perfectly fine. I thought our seats Your were spectacular tickets. yeah I mean I wish I was a little more center but they did have parts of the show that were like literally in the audience or like mm -hmm. right in front of you so mm -hmm. and it was all spread across the whole venue so you didn't like you weren't really left out of yeah anything. Yeah, you know I mean, there was stuff in the pre-show that was, like, directed towards the very front row, which are, like, $300 tickets. 
There's and no then it's way like I'd pay that. Less and less the further back you go, like any venue, but oh, for eighty. The thing bucks. is, it's not that big of a venue, no. so no. you're never far back because yeah. it's not big. Mm -hmm. So for eighty five dollars, I don't pay the three hundred dollars. It is not no. worth unless that. you want a little more interaction, you know, with something, yeah. with somebody directly. But yeah, so I mean, I would go yeah. see it again. And, and I want to like, go see yeah. that one again because I couldn't no. be entertained twice with that. But I would see there a different one. There is a one. steampunk themed one. I want to see that one. Where was that? Come, oh, Washington D.C. I think was the yeah. closest venue. So maybe we'll go see that. All right. I'm and done. then we'll review that one. And maybe you know, there was uh, there's like a program. It costs like eight bucks. I don't know where that is right now. <laughs> but it unfolds into a poster, so maybe we could frame that someday. But uh. And I got a t-shirt that was like 25 bucks, whatever, to commemorate. But they have a little gift shop there. Uh, the, And the trick is to go between... Before. Yeah, so like we went to the earlier show. They have two showings each evening that they're showing. So if you wait to after the first show before the next show, the people at the gift shop said it's extremely busy. Like it's probably packed because it's a very the only small gift shop. Yeah. Before the first show. We went before the first show. Pro tip, if you want to avoid crowds in the gift shop go before mm -hmm. the first show and you could just walk in there too you don't even have to go to the show to go to the gift shop yep you didn't need your tickets to go to the gift shop because mm -hmm. they had like little side things upstairs where you do need your ticket but the huge gift shops downstairs yep. open mm -hmm. but it's only open i think like an hour or so before the show not all the time yep it's not like you could just walk in anytime yep so that's going to end our Cirque du Soleil review. We did the House of Blues review already in the video, so this is just catching up to finish up. Yeah, that was so good. So, till next time. Last time.